The Dolby Atmos Room Design Tool is a tool built to help the user design a Dolby Atmos Studio. The user provides data such as working space dimensions, mix position, and loudspeaker make and model, and the tool calculates the ideal speaker position and angle. In this video series, we will give a brief introduction to the Dart, walk through basic usage, and introduce some advanced functionality. To start, open the Dart XLSB file. You will need to enable macros, as well as agree to the EULA. The tool has three modes of operation, which can be selected in the Room Information tab. Post Music Default is suitable for most studios mixing non-theatrical post, music, gaming, or podcasting content. Post Advance adds access to several additional tabs, which can aid design creation and room commissioning. These tabs will be covered in the Advanced video. Music Advance builds on the Post Advance mode and overlays the reference level specifications for Dolby Atmos Music Studios. This mode should be used if the studio is intended to be listed on the Dolby Atmos Music Studios webpage and will also be covered in the advanced video. Let's take a look at the Design Creation tab in more detail. At the top of the page is the Dart Help Guides section. This gives access to several guides to help input a design into Dart and understand system performance, including the Working Space Dimensions and Layout Guides, which provide detailed information on terms and data used by Dart and should be referenced as you are entering data. A link to the Dolby Atmos Professional Support site, where users can find the latest room design guidelines containing all the key design principles, a user forum to ask any questions, and links to training materials. Next, there are fields to select the measurement units used, enter the working space dimensions, and select the monitoring level. Below, there are speaker layout, speaker position, and speaker model sections. When you choose a speaker layout and enter model data, the tool will auto-populate a number of fields, as well as provide visualizations of the layout on the right side. Note that for many of the input fields in the tool, you can hover over the field with the mouse for more information. For the working space dimension and speaker position fields, hover over images are displayed to illustrate the measurement to enter. Before using the tool, you will want to ensure that you have specific information you will need, the dimension of the space you will install your Dolby Atmos system into, your desired monitoring level, and the make and model of the speakers and amplifiers you will be using.